I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use some of the image effects emitters from Particle Illusion 3.0 to create some pretty interesting effects. If you take a look at the December 2008 emitter library, you may not see much going on. If you look at the emitter names, you'll see Use on Image in the name. That indicates that the particles in these emitters are set to get color from layer and will just show as the background color until they're put on an image or video. Right click in the preview window and select one of the images to use. Now you can see what these emitters are supposed to look like. To really see what they do, load an image into a layer, add one of the emitters and watch what happens. These emitters are an easy way to get a really cool and interesting look while sticking to your footage's color palette. You may want to try turning off display of the background image. The particles will still grab the colors from the image even though it's no longer visible. Some of the emitters have DE in the name. This indicates that you should use them with the Don't Erase option found in the Project Settings dialog. This helps to fill in some of the gaps between the particles and can result in more of a swirling paint effect with some emitters. You can mix more than one of these emitters together, but you may want to decrease the visibility of the topmost emitter or reduce the number property so some of the background emitter will show through. I originally got the idea for creating these emitters from a quick shot I saw on a TV show, something like this. To get this effect, I created a mask of the man in Photoshop, then created a new layer in Particle Illusion and put this new image on top of the original. The emitter is then placed on the lowest layer. I hope seeing these quick samples has given you some ideas for your own projects. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.